Here heading in the distance here you can see some pillars. That was part of the uh, Dala Viaduct, which is unfortunately no longer in place. Which is a shame really, it was the uh, highlight of the line. Regarded as a very beautiful structure, quite dramatic, quite demanding on the landscape. But as you can see the landscape here is wonderful, you can see the Wallace Monument in the distance there. And the hills just gradually coming towards it. And we'll spin right around, on full zoom so you won't even see anything good. There we go. I'll probably go out of focus now. Have another look. Stunning location this. Even just taking a short walk along the uh, former Devon Valley Railway, it's easy to see why this short section between Dollar and Rumbling Bridge costs so much to build. There's loads of these wee bridges along the route. This one looks like it's been touched up with concrete at some point, but you can just about see a bit of brick uh, coming through there. It'll probably go out of focus because this camera doesn't auto-focus when you zoom, but you can just see the brick coming out, of the, out from behind the concrete at that point. What I am noticing about walking down the former Devon Valley Railway is that on approach to the Dollar Viaduct, it is very steep going downhill. I mean, it might not look too steep from here, but by railway standards, this must have been quite a struggle for trains heading up the hill in that direction, up towards uh, Rumbling Bridge. Now if we come back down here we can see, you can't see the viaduct at this point anymore but you can see where it, where it does cross the river as you can see the uh, embankment in the distance there heading towards Dollar and the hills behind it. Okay so the farm track has come to an end, I've ended up on this uh, rather boggy area unfortunately which is the old track bed still. I've already been stung by some of these bushes. So, I've never been here before, it could be interesting to see how far I can get before it becomes impossible to get through this stuff. I'm going to try my best to reach the uh, edge of the viaduct, so let's see how we go from here. I've discovered what seems like a much easier way of doing this. Instead of trying to fight my way through all the sludge and the mank and the cutting below, I'm just going to follow this easy looking woodland path. There's always a good alternative and I'm sure this will give me a better advantage when I get to the viaduct anyway. For a while now, Andrew and I have been uh, discussing doing a fine video, and what, mean, what we mean by that is a video where we're going to where we've not been to before and we're trying to look for uh, something interesting at the other end and I know there is something interesting down here but since I've never been here I'm just kind of inventing the route I've got on a branch, there we go, you can hear it snap underneath me it's always satisfying when you destroy an enemy like that but yeah, that's the railway line still just there although well, you wouldn't really know it at this point we really can't be far from the viaduct now so let's see if we can actually find it all these woods just look the same, I must be completely lost here Oh dear, this isn't going very well at all, unless, what's that in the distance? Well I've made it here, it's pretty easy to get to, all you have to do is follow the old railway line. Now unfortunately it doesn't have a top to it so I can't walk across, however that's uh, one of the pillars there. And what you saw at the beginning of the video right behind me here, is where it uh, meets with the southern side of the River Devon, which you can just about see through the trees there. So I'm going to see if I can get right down to the waterfront and have a proper look at the structure. So I've made it. Unfortunately there's not much left of the Dollar Viaduct. It's, uh, I believe there's six pillars here, although it's difficult to, to see just what is going on due to the amount of tree coverage in this particular spot. I can definitely pick out uh, three from here. I know there's at least a four and a fifth in the woods over there. But yeah, imagine this when it had its when it had a big metal top to it that soared across the, uh, the River Devon and then slowly climbed up to reach Rumbling Bridge and eventually onto Kinross. As you can see, I can count five pillars here. So there we go, one, two, three, four and five. And then it's a significant uh, approach embankment on the other side of the river there. So yeah, well worth coming down here. So yeah, my final words on this is that this, via, or this particular part of the route was the most expensive part to build and since we're near a dollar I think it's only fair to conclude that this uh, part of the railway is top dollar. It's terrible.
Okay, here's one for Andrew. The world's lamest railway tunnel. Right, it might be a bridge, but either way. So actually, if it was a bridge, it would be alright. If it's a tunnel, it would be a bit crap. Let's take a walk through it. Got the number here, belonging to the British Railway Board, KSA 26. That'll be Kinross to Alawa, structure number 26. Let's take a walk through. <laughs> 